ChatGPT said, Every few years, Apple introduces a breakthrough that redefines not just its devices, but the entire direction of its hardware ecosystem. And now, with the arrival of the Apple M5 chip, that defining moment appears to have returned. After multiple generations of measured incremental improvements, the M5 series marks a profound evolution, promising dramatic leaps in processing performance, efficiency, and deep artificial intelligence integration. This isn't merely another chip refresh. It's the beginning of a new era for Apple's hardware lineup and the foundation for its next decade of computing innovation, according to multiple sources, from regulatory databases to manufacturing leaks, Apple is preparing a complete product refresh-centered around the M5 platform. This new architecture is expected to power a sweeping range of devices, from the iPad Pro and MacBook Air to the MacBook Pro, iMac, and even the next-generation Vision Pro headset. In essence, Apple seems determined to unify its entire ecosystem under a single, ultra-efficient, AI-accelerated silicon framework. So, what makes the M5 such a monumental step forward? For starters, it's reportedly built on a refined 3-nanometer process, pushing the boundaries of energy efficiency and transistor density. Smaller nodes mean faster performance with lower power draw, ideal for both portable and desktop systems. Beyond that, Apple is rumored to be enhancing its neural engine with additional AI cores that operate more closely with the GPU, enabling faster machine learning and real-time AI computation directly on the device. These upgrades are designed not only to boost productivity, but also to deliver new capabilities for developers and creators who rely on computational photography, 3D rendering, and AI-based automation. The M5 chip is also expected to feature expanded unified memory configurations, possibly starting at 12GB for entry-level iPads and 24GB or more for Pro models. Larger cache size and faster memory bandwidth will dramatically reduce latency and make multitasking smoother than ever. In CPU performance, early benchmark leaks suggest up to 20% higher single-core performance and over 35% faster GPU rendering compared to the M4 generation. This combination of power and efficiency gives Apple a strong edge in both raw speed and sustained performance, key for long editing sessions, creative workflows, and intensive AI processes. Among the first devices expected to launch with the M5 is the new iPad Pro. While the exterior design might remain familiar, thin bezels, flat aluminum edges, and compatibility with existing accessories. The internal changes are poised to transform the experience. The new iPad Pro could feel more like a workstation than a tablet, with 8K ProRes video editing, advanced AI-assisted drawing tools, and local generative image capabilities, all running natively thanks to the M5's integrated neural cores. For digital artists, photographers, and filmmakers, this could finally be the device that merges portability with desktop-grade creative performance. The MacBook Pro, traditionally the flagship for Apple's silicon innovation, will also get the M5 treatment. Regulatory filings suggest that new 14-inch and 16-inch models are already in testing. Expect a leap in CPU to GPU throughput, support for Wi-Fi 7, higher unified memory ceilings, potentially up to 48 GIGI, and improved thermal control for sustained workloads. These upgrades, combined with AI-enhanced features like intelligent noise reduction, real-time rendering optimization, and context-aware resource allocation, will make the M5 MacBook Pro a dream machine for professionals across industries. Even the Mac Mini and iMac aren't being left behind. Compact yet powerful, the M5 Mac Mini will bring workstation-level computing into a smaller, more efficient form factor. Meanwhile, an M5-powered iMac could feature a brighter, HDR-ready display with ProMotion refresh rates and expanded GPU capabilities, perfect for creators and developers who prefer all-in-one simplicity. Then there's the Vision Pro, Apple's bold step into spatial computing. Reports suggest Apple may skip the M3 and M4 entirely, opting to integrate the M5 directly into the next Vision Pro generation. The result? Significantly smoother 3D rendering, improved ray tracing, and vastly better battery life. The upgraded neural cores would enable more precise gesture recognition, spatial mapping, and immersive AI-driven virtual environments, all processed locally without heavy reliance on the cloud. Rounding out the lineup, the MacBook Air M5 could redefine the meaning of portability. Thanks to the chip's efficiency, Apple may be able to deliver a fanless design that maintains performance under load while extending battery life even further. It's also rumored to feature optional 5G or N1 wireless connectivity, 
making it the most connected and versatile air ever built. What ties all these devices together is Apple's strategic vision of a unified ecosystem. The M5 represents more than hardware. It's the key to unlocking a new generation of on-device intelligence. Instead of depending on remote servers, Apple devices will increasingly handle AI workloads locally, whether it's real-time translation, image enhancement, or personalized recommendations. This approach not only improves speed and responsiveness, but also reinforces Apple's commitment to user privacy. From a developer's standpoint, the M5 lineup simplifies the coding landscape. Unified APIs, standardized neural libraries, and shared frameworks mean that apps optimized for one M5 device will perform seamlessly across others. This cross-device harmony could spark a new wave of innovation. As developers leverage the M5's AI and GPU power to build smarter, faster, and more immersive experiences, looking ahead, Apple's rollout timeline likely spans late 2025 through mid-2026. The MacBook Pro M5 and iPad Pro M5 could debut first, followed by the iMac and Mac Mini refreshes, and finally the Vision Pro and MacBook Air in early to mid-2026. Beyond that, Apple will likely evolve the M5 into specialized variants, like M5 Pro, M5 Max, and M5 Ultra, before laying the groundwork for the eventual M6 platform. Of course, challenges remain. Manufacturing complexities at advanced 3 nanometer nodes could affect supply. Heat management in smaller enclosures might test Apple's cooling solutions. And pricing will likely rise as production costs increase. Yet Apple's long-term strategy seems clear. Unify performance, intelligence, and experience across every device class it builds. Ultimately, the Apple M5 chip isn't just another hardware milestone. It's the foundation for the next generation of intelligent computing. With its focus on AI acceleration, power efficiency, and seamless ecosystem integration, the M5 could reshape how we create, work, and interact with technology across Apple's entire product range. From immersive spatial experiences to lightning-fast productivity and smarter personal workflows, this is more than a silicon upgrade. It's the start of Apple's next revolution.